There are people that bring a car to the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Then there are our friends like Dan Vasek here who are responsible for kind of corralling a bunch of cars through the invitational displays. And every year, uh, for many years, you've been instrumental in getting a whole bunch of cars together. This year, we're looking at uh, a gaggle of W31 Oldsmobiles. Tell me about the display this year, Dan. Well, I figured, uh, I always try to think of cars that kind of need love or cars that really people don't know a lot about. And it's a, what, a, what better way to educate the muscle car staff and the, and the, and the uh, people that love these cars like you and I uh, other than showing them the cars themselves and educating them here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Yeah. So I, I picked this year uh, the W31 Ramrods uh, that Oldsmobile made three years only, in 68 and 69 and in 70. In 1968, they were called Ramrods. In 1969 and 1970, they dropped the Ramrod name and uh, called the W31. And uh, they're unique because they're, they're literally high performance Oldsmobile small box. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty potent little cars uh, once you learn about them and what makes them significant and the high performance parts that went on those cars. Uh, so it's just a cool, cool car and um, I just thought it was, it was time for them to shine. Yeah, so yeah. I, I brought 17 of them here to the, uh, this year's show um, and, and great, great time with all of them. All the owners are very appreciative, great guys. Um, I just love the camaraderie. It's all about the cars, but the people is what makes it happen every year, as you know. Absolutely, yeah. and, and uh, there's a, a lot to talk about with these cars. You mentioned the people. There's cars here from Canada and, and all over the place, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I've got uh, two original, three original owner cars here, three drag cars here, and uh, the rest are uh, either restored or on their way to restoration. The other great thing we, we like to tell people here, McCacken, is is your car doesn't need to be a thousand point car. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be, uh, you know, it could be anything as long as it's the real deal. Mm -hmm. We want real cars here to celebrate you know, these cars. Uh, so we have cars here that are, you know, all makes and models as far as what kind of condition they're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that W31, uh, tell us about the package because it's more than just an engine. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's it, depending on what year, 68 versus 70, for example, but it's, you know, the, the pistons, the engineering, the special carburetor, the special intake, uh, special heads. Uh, it, made, it, it made that small block breathe a lot more, taking in a lot more fuel. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the only problem that they had is they, they had a lumpy cam, so therefore they lost some brake vacuum. So mm -hmm. you couldn't get power brakes mm -hmm. on them, which was okay for the drag car guys because we knew how to stop. Yeah, right. Yeah. You need the other pedal. You need the other pedal. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, plus some kind of weird things like the harmonic balancer is different. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's kind of kind of the most important ingredient, mm. if you would say, on, on a ramrod or a W31 is that harmonic balancer. Um, and and uh, it's a the telltale giveaway. If you see that thing and it's two and a half inches wide, you know what you got there. Yeah, right on. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting to me that uh, you're standing in front of a race car yep. um, <clears throat> that you had a lot to do with uh, bringing it back to life, I guess. Yes, if you remember six years ago, El Malo, which means the bad. Yes, nice. Yes, which means the bad. <laughs> the bad. The bad uh, was in the barn finds. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And uh, so I, I resurrected it. it wasn't a, I don't call it a restoration, it's a resurrection. This car is 95% most, percent most original paint. Uh, and it's so really cool that we, we re-lettered lettered it back to its glory day in, as it was in 1970. Mm -hmm. And we invited the family here, the family was here, uh, they spent the whole weekend with us, so it was, uh, it was a very emotional weekend. And I had the pleasure of bringing the car back to, to it, what you see here behind us today. And now the father and son take it from this point. They're gonna take the engine and transmission and it's a father and son team and put the engine and transmission back together and get the car running. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's interesting to me that they set out originally to build a small block drag car. I mean, was this raced in a certain class? Yeah, yes, yes it was, yes it was. Uh, it's all, this car is very historic, it's all on YouTube. You can, you can do some research on it if you really want to know the history of El Malo. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a car that lived the days and, and it, Really, I was the first guy, the only guy to take this dash apart. When I took this dash apart, it has 72 miles on it. <laughs> and the uh, reason cool. it has 72 miles is, is it's a four-speed car. When they took it, to, to, they wanted to make it a drag car. 
and they wanted to put it up, make it go faster, they, they took the train four speed out, never connected to the speedo, there therefore go. the 72 miles. So, uh, cool story. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, Dan, I, I always appreciate you kind of digging deeper and, and finding the cool cars that, uh, like you said, a lot of people might not know about. Yep. And I love the fact that the W31 cars offer such variety. There's hard tops, there's post coupes. Uh, I think there's even a couple of convertibles out there. There are, right? there are. They're, they're, we're, we're trying to find more and more of those. Uh, in, uh, I heard some talks this weekend that might, one is close to being found in a convertible. There you go. So, so. it's phenomenal. It bring, brings us together, brings us all in, you know, in one group, and we talk about it, and that's kind of how things evolve. And not only that, you always dress the part of uh, whatever you're displaying. I, I do. No Cubs gear to this yeah, week, yeah, but, you know, I try, I try to represent the Oldsmobiles. <laughs> yeah, Give the Oldsmobiles a love. Awesome, man. Thanks, Kev. Appreciate Thanks, Dan. It. Dan Thank being you. being Dr. Olds this weekend That's here at right. Mysore Car and Corvette Nationals. Thank you. Yep.